So welcome to our program. And today we are going to talk about negative thoughts. Do you know that actually negative thoughts are normal? But where are they coming from? Why do we dwell in so many questions and things to defend ourselves in the way how we see life? And everything goes to the Neanderthal time. Why? Because at that time, if you are not careful about what you do, you would just die. So you need to learn of the bad things. The bad things that happen to you, you need to learn and you need to keep thinking and thinking on how to defend yourself. However, when you are fine and there is no problems and you're happy, you basically don't put a lot of energy thinking of those things because they are normal, you're fine, you are not going to die. Now the problem is, we are not anymore in the Neanderthal time. Now we are in the 21st century where anything that can happen to us in the normal conditions, there are not things where you are going to die or you are going to, I don't know, something may happen to you. However, the way how we keep reacting is like we need to survive. We need to protect ourselves. We need to make sure that things do not happen bad to us. So those negative thoughts are when they are coming around. Now, what are the, res the results of the negative thoughts? Number one is insecurity. I mean, how many of us are feeling insecure about ourselves? Especially when you're a teenager, you are so afraid about everything. Number two is you waste time. It has happened to me. Something bad happened to me or something I disagree with a person and I keep thinking and thinking and thinking and there is a waste of time. The other one is you always are upset, you know, because you are just thinking about these negative things that you're just upset about it. Now, the next thing that is also kind of like scary is like you close yourself down to future possibilities. Because you are so afraid about what is going to happen or how people are going to tell you, you close yourself down to other possibilities. And so for so many people, also you have panic attacks. There are people who just can deal with these type of things and they go into panic attacks. I want to tell you the story of Emily. This story is uh, uh, a story that real happened with Emily and it goes like this. Emily is a beautiful 19 years old now, but Emily in the, in the last five, six, seven, ten years of her life, she has been just thinking about how she's not good, how she's not beautiful. And the thing is that stopped her of being who she could have been. It was really interesting because at one point, Mom called me and said, hey, we need to do something with her. Can, can you give me an idea? And Emily at this point was 18 years old. And I said, listen, how about if we send her to Vietnam? If we have in Vietnam this place where she can go and teach English for one month. And mom actually supported her and the things went through. And now when I met with her, with Emily, you can see her whole life has changed. And she realized that many of the things that happened to her is because she created in her own mind. You know, I am not good enough. I am not good a student. I am ugly. I'm fat. I'm skinny. I'm whatever. But many of those thoughts are created by our, by our own minds. But the question is, what is the danger today? I mean, with all these type of things, what is the danger that we have? And the reality is none. Nothing is going to take your life away. So the question is, do we give a lot of energy to these kind of thoughts? And how to get rid of these thoughts? Well, now I'm going to tell you some points that I think will help you out. Number one is to remember that negative thoughts are not bad. Negative thoughts are not bad. However, what is bad is when you are dwelling on them, when you are thinking and thinking and thinking all the time. Just Think about these negative thoughts and find a way how to get rid of them. Number two is write your negative thoughts down. You know what is happening, just write it down. And after that, you can burn them or you can just destroy them, throw them to the trash and make sure that that sense of doing that act will help you out. Number three is stop complaining. Many of us just complain about things. And what is interesting is I want to invite you to Analyze when something bad happens to you, how many people knows about what just has happened to you? And I can tell you that sometimes you may be surprised because we go here and there just complaining and saying how sorry you feel or how upset you are because your parents have done this or, or your girlfriend done something to you. And these negative thoughts just keep going. 
The other thing that is important is focus on the good things. And for this, is actually an exercise that I want to invite you to do. Write things down about the good things that has happened in your life. For example, today I'm filming, I'm alive, and that is something beautiful. But no, so many times, because of what I was telling you before, we just focus on negative things. The other thing is use technology. You know, take a picture and put a, a, a screenshot in your phone and says, hey, you're beautiful, God loves you, or, or, or something in that sense that will help you that every time that you will see something like that, you will actually be happy. The next one is don't react. We had a video about self-control. Don't react. Instead of reacting, ask the questions. Is this a problem? That, is this problem that bad? What do I need to do to overcome this issue? And once you answer those questions, you just make sure that you just let it go. And the last thing is relax and let it go. Consciously stop thinking about it. Now, this is interesting because if you really think about it, I can do this. These are my negative thoughts, per se, in my jacket, and I will do this. I will just take them off, and then the light inside of you will just bright. And the thing is, consciously, you can say that. I do not want to keep thinking about this. I let it go. I let it go. So when you focus on the good things, you will be able to see that even in the worst things that happen in your life, there is something good. I, there is a movie that is called um, Collateral Beauty by uh, uh, Will Smith, and this movie was made in 2016. I highly recommend you watch that movie and to talk about that. Because even in the worst moments of your life, there is something good. There is something good for you to, to, to be happy, to, for you to, to look upon. So the question is, can you stop complaining? Can you start focusing on the good? And the challenge is, all this week, just write things down about the, everything that has been beautiful in your life and you want to be thankful to. See you soon. Thank you for everything.